Your trip to Arthur Avenue isn't complete unless you also bring home some food to eat. You can find everything to make the perfect meal. And for the antipasto, you have to stop at Casa della Mozzarella. This store was established almost 100 years ago, and we are talking about the freshest mozzarella in the Bronx, Orazio Carciotto is the master. I'm the mere apprentice. I'm gonna help make the mozzarella today here at Casa di Mozzarella. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see what's beginning to happen. It's happening right before your eyes. I'm trying to do this? Yeah. You have to keep it on if it sticks oh, on the bottom. Oh, I see bottom. you're turning. Oh, this is almost done. Beautiful. Okay, you ready? Then Orazio formed what appeared to be the perfect ball of mozzarella by hand. Years of experience paying off for this one shot. Me? Not so much. Very good. Very good. Ecco la mozzarella. <laughs> Brava. Bravissima. Hey, you can put it back in because I know you're not going to use that one. <laughs> <laughs> Then he showed some mad skills with the twist, but the knots? Come on, surely I could handle that. Mine's... <laughs> <laughs> Just see. Mozzarella, I'm in love with you. Oh, thank you, me too. I'm in love with you, and your mozzarella. Okay, now it's time for Primo Piatto, and if you are looking for the best pasta in New York, you have to stop at the shop that has been a fixture on Arthur Avenue for over 75 years. Inside Borgatti Ravioli, you will find Chris Borgatti, the third generation to run this tantalizing operation. And most likely, you will also see his dad, Mario, who at 95 is still a fixture at the family business that his father opened in 1935. You look younger than the last time I was here. What is your secret? It's the pasta. <laughs> Check it so out! So how old is this machine? Uh, it's close to 100 years old. My, my grandparents opened up the store in 1935. They, they were using this to cut some noodles. So it was old, it was old when they had it. So it's been here Still all does those the years, job, but, right? Yeah. Do you ever get yeah. sick of pasta? No. <laughs> <laughs> Now any Italian will tell you your perfect pasta needs a pinch of Parmigiano Reggiano. So our quest for the best has us seeking a shop that has been serving Arthur Avenue for four generations. Even my great grandmother used to shop here. But I wonder if she knew that the owners weren't Italian. Gilbert Title's father and uncle came from Austria. Tailors by trade, they immigrated to America. Landed on the Lower East Side, but their entrepreneurial spirit led them to set up shop on Arthur Avenue in 1915. Did what they had to do to make it successful. And they hired local people from the neighborhood because they didn't know anything about this business. They hired the local people who were Italian and taught them how to uh, buy and sell and operate a, uh, an Italian-American grocery store. Gilbert and his brothers took over the business. His kids even work there now. And he has followed in the footsteps of his parents. You see, in the 60s and 70s, the next big immigration wave to hit Arthur Avenue were the Albanians. So they started offering indigenous foods like feta cheese and casaria to meet the neighborhood's evolving tastes, and even hired local Albanians to work in the store. That said, they are still most famous for that amazing cheese. I'll let you taste the parmigiano. I need to taste the parmigiano reggiano. Adesso. That means now in Italian. Gilbert, I gotta hand it to you. For a non Italian, you know your cheese. <laughs> I learned. <laughs> Coming up, we are road tripping in search of Nutella frozen hot chocolate and an insane gelato ice cream sandwich housed in a brioche. But first, Tony on trivia. Her most famous role may have been playing alongside Dustin Hoffman, but that's not the role that won this Bronx-born actress Oscar Gold. Who is she? Come on, New York, you so got this. If you don't, answers on Facebook at the end of the show. <laughs> 